Hello and welcome to Ben's Works. A lot of you have probably seen some awesome secret wood projects. Well, I'm going to give it a go myself today. I've got a scrap piece of Merbo and some casting resin and we're going to make an awesome pendant. So I'll be making this pendant out of a piece of Merbo. Now I've cut it a bit thinner just to make it a bit easier to snap and one other thing I did was I just cut a little score line there. And hopefully we'll get it snap easy. I'm just going to do it in the vise. I'm just going to get three blocks of wood, two on one side, one on the other, wind it up. Hopefully we'll get a good snap. And once you get that first break, I'm just going to flip it around, do the other side, that way we don't bend the fibres. But the process I'm going to use for this one is I'm just going to get some clear tape, I'm going to wrap it around and I'm going to pour the resin through there. Now it doesn't have to be too perfect because we are going to sand this block down so any little ripples that are in there we'll take out with that. So now I'm just going to cut a hole so we can pour the resin in. I'm just going to use a casting resin today with an activator. So 30 mils of resin, 8 drops of activator. So it's really important that you mix this thoroughly because if not, it's just not going to set. So I'm just going to start off by pouring in a little bit first and then trying to get it around all the cracks. If you do see any air bubbles, just grab yourself a toothpick and just try and work them out. Doesn't matter if it spills over the sides, just make sure you got it on a silicon mat, that way it'll just peel off. And then once we sand all that up, you won't even know. So it's now the next day, our resin's gone nice and hard. I'm not going to bother pulling the tape off, I'm just going to take it to the sander and we'll shape it up. So now I've finished sanding it and I've got it to the shape that I want, which is a nice square shape with these nice sharp edges on it. So now I'm going to go to some hand sanding and get it shined up really nice. So here comes the part we love the most, sanding. I'm going to start off with a 120, move to 150, 280, 400, 600. Once I've run through all them, I'm then going to go to the micro mesh, which starts at 1500 and runs all the way down to 12,000. Now these pads are quite small so I will be taking my time with this one and trying not to round over any of my edges. Now I'm not going to bore you guys with too much of this so I'm just going to get straight into it. Okay so that's all the sanding finished. Now let's get onto the micro mesh. It's best when using micro mesh to use them with water but because I've got wood involved here and I just don't want to swell the fibers up I'm just going to go dry. It will take a bit longer, but it'll work out better. Well, after a few hours hard work, we finally got what we're looking for. Now I'm just going to go cut this on the bandsaw. So I've now cut it to the size that I want, and I've gone ahead and just chamfered the tops and bottoms a little bit, just so it's not as sharp. Now I'm going to go ahead with my eyelet here and I'm going to put it in the top. That doesn't look too bad that. Well guys, there you have it. My take on the secret wood pendant. I love the way this thing turned out. I love the brass eyelet in the top there. It contrasts really well with the wood. And I went with the brown leather for the strap. It just turned out really nice. 
Now I went for the square shape because I like the clean edges. I did bevel the top and the bottom just to take a bit of the sharpness off it, but I'm really happy with how this one turned out. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. I put new how-to and build videos out every couple of weeks. You can also check out my Instagram page and my Facebook page. I'll put links down below of where you can find them. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. Well, that's all I have for you on this week's episode. I really hope you enjoyed this one. I had heaps of fun making it, and I look forward to making a few more in the future. Thanks for watching.